I don't think anybody really blames Gypsy Rose Blanchard for what she did. Not only was she pushed to the point of having her life completely ruined, but she was also heavily medicated by her mother's hand, and that would have impaired a lot of her thought processes. I am honestly surprised that she was... Well, she received the punishment that she did. I don't want to give away too much, because when you watch this documentary, you'll find out if you are unaware of her story. I'm surprised she was punished as severely as she was, but it definitely could have been a lot worse. Um, this documentary, Mummy, Dead and Dearest, looks at the murder of Gypsy Rose's mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. And I'm sure you've heard of her, but if you haven't, Gypsy Rose is a victim of Munchausen's by proxy. Her mother, from as young as Gypsy Rose being three months old, her mother started to say that there were medical problems with her. This carried on until I think, I think Gypsy Rose was about 23 when the murder happened. But obviously throughout her childhood and teenage years, Dee Dee was manipulating the system. This is severe fraud, but the fraud's obviously not the worst of it. The fact that she was heavily medicating her daughter, convincing doctors things were wrong. She had a, Gypsy Rose had a feeding tube inserted at one point for, for a good number of years. She used a wheelchair and was never allowed to walk outside, only obviously in the privacy of their own home. She was treated despicably. And this documentary looks at all of those factors that pushed her to the point of arranging her mother's murder. And it looks at the individual who committed the murder and the relationship that Gypsy Rose had with this person. And from the documentary perspective, it's brilliant. I, I, I just want to talk about Gypsy Rose as an individual and what happened. But obviously I need to focus on the documentary itself. And I will just say that it's incredible. I was you know, well aware of Gypsy Rose as an individual. I've done a, a relative amount of research about her and watched several documentaries and episodes. I think I think of maybe two years ago is when I first heard of her and straight away my heart went out to her. Yes, murder is never the answer. Going to the authorities would have been more suitable. But sometimes when you're mistreated and abused so much and, you know, I do believe that all of those medications that she was forced to take for basically her entire life and the fact that she was overprotected while also being abused and not allowed to live in the real world meant that her outlook on the world was completely different. And this documentary looks at that and, as I was trying to say, it's, it's brilliant as an introduction. If you are unaware of who Gypsy Rose Blanchard is, this is a brilliant introduction. This is the only documentary I've seen about her where it actually shows crime scene photos of her and, and, and her mother's, her mother's dead body. And, you know, often people don't like it when dead bodies are shown. Um, personally, it doesn't bother me. But I think that this woman deserves no respect. She does not deserve any dignity. And... I won't say I took pleasure in seeing that crime scene photo because it's not as far as that. But part of me thought, you know, you you did this horrible, horrible thing. You ruined your daughter's life. You ruined your daughter. Gypsy Rose Blanchard has no identity outside of what happened to her because that's all she ever knew growing up. And seeing that photo, I just thought was... There, there was a sense of relief for Gypsy Rose and knowing that you know, it was final, it was done. Um, it is, it's not overly graphic, but it is heartbreaking. Most people talking in this are talking as if they, they also feel that Gypsy Rose didn't deserve maybe such a severe punishment. What I hadn't expected but was really pleased to see is that Gypsy Rose actually gets a chance to talk in this she is interviewed for a little while I was very shocked to see that she was still in handcuffs now I've watched I mean for goodness sake if you take a documentary like um well there are a lot of documentaries that deal with you know the world's biggest serial killers and even though a lot of them aren't handcuffed you know the interview the only thing I can think of is that maybe the interview was taking place away from the prison uh, in which case, yeah, she probably would have had to have still been handcuffed because it wouldn't have been inside a secure unit. Um, but I was very shocked by that. Very, very, you know, I feel like what Gypsy Rhodes needs is 
care and guidance and support, not punishment. But hopefully it's a bit more lenient for her. I'm not entirely sure what kind of facility she's in. But certainly the documentary kind of seems to side, not, not side with her, I'm not saying it condones what she did. But nobody in this documentary is sitting going, I can't believe she did this, her life wasn't that bad, etc. Uh, something else that surprised me actually, we got to see a lot of police interview footage, which I love. And somebody was being interviewed, I think it was possibly the father of Gypsy Rose's boyfriend. And while he was being interviewed by a, a detective... There was a young child sitting next to him, presumably his other son or something. I think, why, why is there a young child in the police interview room? I found that very bizarre. Um, certainly not something a young child should be listening to. The documentary is amazing. We hear from a couple of doctors who Dee Dee Blanchard had taken Gypsy Rose to see. We get to see a couple of medical reports. and We get to see the medicine cupboard, which is ridiculous. It's a very emotional documentary because... You know, it's rare that you watch a documentary about a murder and not feel sympathy for the victim. I have no sympathy for her whatsoever because she was a horrible, vile woman. And yes, she was probably mentally unworthy herself because to be able to do this, you can't really be of sound mind. And in that respect, I think, you know, Munchausen's by proxy is a mental illness. And I think, yeah, somebody could have picked up on this sooner and saved a lot of heartache. Yes, I think there were better options than murder always a better option than murder but at the same time Dee Dee died as a product of her own mental illness really because because of Gypsy Rose's warped view of the world the fact that she hasn't had a proper upbringing the fact that she's been taking a lot of medication she doesn't need uh, and the fact that she's been abused basically since birth means that You know, if she had not done any of that at any point, then this wouldn't have been the final outcome. So she is, you know, a victim of her own problems, which in itself is awful, you know. um, If she couldn't have got the help she needed, then, you know, this was always going to be inevitable. But it's just a shame that Gypsy Rose slipped through the system so much. And the documentary does touch on that. It doesn't, like, say, you know, the system's flawed, everything's rubbish, and she should have been... You know, they should have been detected straight away because Dee Dee was very good at manipulating people and very good at persuading different doctors that, you know, she always saw different doctors and, you know, persuading them that there was something wrong. For example, she went to a cardiologist. If there were heart problems, she'd go to different specialists who were unlikely to communicate with one another. And the documentary is really good at illustrating that. So it doesn't ever really blame the system, but it certainly points out that, you know, Somebody should have picked up on this sooner, but, you know, these things happen. It's absolutely brilliant. Start to finish, I loved it. I really did. It's about an hour and 20 minutes. I would have loved it to have been longer. But I think it covered a lot of ground in a short space of time. Very well edited. Great mix of individuals having their say. You know, really good use of interview footage and text messages, Facebook messages that Gypsy Rose posted at the time. As I said, crime scene footage, which I hadn't seen before. So that was something that was, um, I don't want to use the phrase pleasant surprise, but it was. I really enjoyed it. It's absolutely brilliant. I can't fault it. If you are fascinated by the case of Gypsy Rose, this one is great. If you are new to this story and want to find out the basics, this one will definitely do that for you. It's brilliant.